Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be another <coughs> Hold on. Another will I buy it video. I do feel like I need to address the fact that I haven't really um posted anything in the last like two days and I know like I feel like I really need to work on my consistency because I keep saying that yes I'll post every day but I don't know sometimes like things get in the way and I feel like I really wasn't in the right headspace the last two days to really post anything and that's why I didn't really want to do so so um hopefully you guys can understand I have been going through a lot and I kind of I felt like I needed to step back, but I am really trying to make sure that I can be a little bit more on top of things, but that is why I kind of like haven't been posting for the last two days, but mark my words, I will uh, get into it uh, some more, especially in this week. I really want to put out some good videos for you guys, and that's why I'm just going to start it off by doing a Will I Buy It, in which I talk about um, the products that have been launching this past week and my opinions on them. So let's just get into it. Okay, so Milk Makeup is launching some new lipsticks and these are the shades right here. I kind of really do like them. I like the reds and I like how they have a few nudes as well. And I really like find myself drawn to a lot of the shades. I will say that like I'm not really interested in a lot of things that I see in these videos. I feel like I've been taking a step back from buying makeup in general. I mean, I might even like just go as far as to say that I don't know. I, I feel like I want to go on a low buy or even a no buy. I feel like I want to do that. So that's why while I do like some of the things that I will be mentioning in this video. There are other things that I'm just not gonna get. And I feel like this is yet something that I really do like, but I don't think I'll be getting. The price is $24, which is pretty fair, I think. But yeah, at the end of the day, these are lipsticks. And do I have like two drawers full of lipsticks? Yes, I do. So that's why like I'm just taking a little bit of a back seat on this one. But I really do like the shades, especially like the reds. And then again, the nudes, I also really do like as well. Then I really want to show you guys this launch from ColourPop that I'm actually like super tempted by. ColourPop has been on a little bit of a roll recently. They've uh, launched I think like a few eyeshadow palettes. They've launched um, some mascaras that I spoke about last week. And they're also launching these eyeliners right here. Now, these eyeliners come in a variety of colors. They have a black, dark blue, green, red, pink, yellow, and white. I like these a lot. I am so tempted by these. ColourPop was on my list of brands that I want to stay away from this year, mostly because, um, ColourPop is a brand that is so very tempting because they have like a variety of launches coming all the time and the prices are so inexpensive. I mean, these are $8 each that I just feel so tempted by them like all the time. And this is no exception. Like I would love to pick up that red and even that green because like those unusual shades, I feel like those are, those are so cool, you know? And I, I'm tempted by this. I really am. But I, I feel like, again, I'm gonna try and take a back seat on this but I'm so tempted. Like, I really am. Like, these are so inexpensive, and if these are good, like, you know that I'll be interested. White & Wild is launching something called the Rebel Rose Collection. It's another one of their limited edition collections, so I will not be getting this myself, but these are some of the things that they're launching. They're launching a multi-use oil, a toner, a primer serum, a cream blush, eyeshadow quads, a jelly balm, a lip scrub, some cat suit, liquid cat suit um, lipsticks. They also have like some high shine liquid lipsticks and then uh, some brushes. Now the theme is Rebel Rose. So like I'm assuming that they mean like a uh, girly, like a little bit feminine, but with like a little bit of a grungy darker side, which I do like. Um, I don't know. I think I'll, I think this is definitely a pass for me because of the fact that it is so very limited edition and Wet n Wild is always coming out with like limited edition items and I feel like a lot of times it seems that their collections are like kind of back to back and I'm not sure that that's the case but I, I don't know like for me it seems like that and the eyeshadow quads in general like these are pretty and I kind of like do like this one the one with like the rusty red and then the shimmery green I like that one but I'm not gonna get it because I feel like I can do without this. I really don't need this. I mean, these are none of these are products that I'm like really interested in, but I do like the theme. So there's a sneak peek from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now Norvina basically um, is like sneak peeking some new products and she seems to be wearing them on her face. 
Now, uh, Trend Moods is paying a lot of attention to the eyeshadow, which makes me think that this might be like a new eyeshadow palette that she might be launching. Hopefully it's colorful eyeshadows, but at the same time, I don't really know. I feel like Anastasia Beverly Hills is a company that doesn't really do a lot of colorful shadows when it comes to the eyes, because that's just not their style. They do colorful shadows, but they don't do like a lot of like exclusively colorful eyeshadows with their palettes especially. We've been seeing so many neutrals coming from them. So I feel like whatever this is might be like a collection of single eyeshadows or might be another palette with some pops of color. I feel like it might be a purple, like it might be like an actual purple and pink tone palette, which is interesting because they already have the Norvina palette, which claims to be a palette that is very purple in tone, but really is like a lot of like neutrals mixed in with some purples. But I don't know. I don't know. This might be something that we'll be seeing soon. But moving on, I really want to touch on this palette right here from Too Faced. I really don't get it. Like this is a palette that's called the Natural Lust Palette. I feel like this is just such a boring palette. This is, again, this is a huge palette. It is, I think it's 30 shades. It's a huge, and yet so many of the colors are very similar. They're almost identical, some of these shades. And if you look, you can see like five different highlight colors that look, ex uh, that look not exactly, but almost the exact same. And you basically like have so many colors that will only work on somebody that has super light skin tone and then just a few deeper colors. And I just, I don't really like that. I feel like this is a palette that's very basic. I feel like you have um, the like reddish color and then you have the green and then every other color except for maybe that sage green. These are very neutral colors and I feel like they're boring neutrals. I don't feel like this is anything special. I feel like this is something that won't really be useful to anyone because if you're a makeup artist, in my personal opinion, if you're a working makeup artist and you're using a palette, I feel like you want something that will uh, be a little bit all-encompassing. And if you're just somebody doing makeup on your own independently, I feel like this palette is boring. You know, I, I want something more. I want something more fun. I want something more exciting. I want something that will give me so much inspiration. And this is a palette that you can only do a few looks with and they are very similar looks. I feel like this is just a boring palette. So that's why <laughs> this is a pass. I don't really like it. I just feel like it's so boring. You know, I don't know. I want something more. I'm a little bit haphazard in this video, but Too Faced is launching, um, in addition to the eyeshadow palette, they're launching a contour palette. And I am not interested. I feel like this is a good contour palette because it includes a lot of shades that you can use on a variety of skin tones, in my personal opinion. I feel like a makeup artist could really use this palette because you have like that selection of various tones that would work for a variety of skin tones. But I am not a makeup artist. I do not think I'll be able to use this. So this is a pass for me. Anastasia Beverly Hills is launching some new glitters. Like these are some uh, really beautiful like pink and red type glitters. Now, I like this in theory. I do like it a lot. I just feel like um, they're $15 each. I don't know. I feel like that's... Is that expensive for glitter? I feel like that might be expensive for glitter because it's just glitter, you know? I don't... I, I mean, I like these, but I don't think I'll be getting them because I'm cheap. But yeah, they're pretty, but I'm just not interested. I do think that it's fun to see like glitter kind of becoming a little bit more mainstream. A lot of people are incorporating glitter into their looks, which is really fun to see because you guys know how much I love glitter. I mean, I'm wearing it today, so you guys know how into it I am. And I feel like you don't really use a lot of glitter at one time, so I feel like this is good. I you know, you could probably get your use out of this and it would take a while for you to even use one of these bottles, but at the same time, sorry, but I'm not paying like $15 for a glitter. Like, it's just not gonna happen, especially when I have like so many glitters already in my collection. And yeah, I do, I do see a lot of like holes in my glitter collection, so to speak, but I'm just not like, I'm just not um, drawn to this too much. So this is another thing from Makeup Forever. This is for summer 2019. Now, 
here's the thing. Here is the thing. Uh, I feel like the theme like for the summer color palette in general is very bronzy, very warm. So I feel like this palette is trying to push towards that, but at the same time, this is boring. I feel like this is less boring than the Too Faced palette. I feel like if you're going to get one of those, you should probably get this because I feel like some of these colors are a little bit more unusual. You have like those greens, you have uh, some more like interesting colors, you have like a little bit of something for everything and I feel like this is a good palette for a variety of skin tones and it's at the, same, at the same time a palette that's a little bit interesting. If I was one that loved neutrals, I would get this palette because it looks like you almost have like different sections. You have like a section with some like more sagey, greeny, earthy tones and then you have like some more warm, corally type, like warm um, summer kind of tones. So I feel like this is a nice palette in that respect but I will not be getting this myself because I'm just not somebody who I think will use this palette, but I do like it, I will say that. I think it's a good neutral palette and just not my cup of tea. So this is uh, something from um, Sephora. They're launching this collaboration with Barbie and they're basically calling this the Super Barbie Collection, which is gonna include a brush set, eyeshadow palette, um, a primer mask, hand masks, hair masks, and then like some uh, skincare. So, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay, my thing is, I feel like a lot of times brands are trying to cash in on nostalgia. And while that does work to a degree, I feel like on me, that doesn't really work. I'm not somebody that wants to spend money on feeling nostalgic. I mean, I'm not somebody that will see something I liked in my childhood, see a makeup collection inspired by it, and want to go right to it, you know? I want something more than just nostalgia in a makeup collection. And I'm sorry, but this is not giving me much. For me, whenever I think of a Barbie makeup collection, I don't think of this, and I feel like I actually, I don't know. Should I do like a like a um, fantasy Barbie collection? Is that legal? I'm not sure. But like, I would love to design um, like some mock-ups of a Barbie collection, of my ideal Barbie collection, what I think a Barbie collection should be, because I just, I don't think this is like it. Um, I feel like there's a concept here that I might be missing, but I feel like this is supposed to be a fierce Barbie, and this is just not cutting it for me. I feel like this is a little too basic and I want more. I don't know, but like a neutral part palette, like a neutral palette for me doesn't tell like doesn't give me Barbie vibes. Like it just it does it just doesn't. Like it's so I feel like it's almost lazy. It really is because anyone can put together a neutral palette and call it a day, but I feel that Barbie is more than that. That's just my opinion. So Nikki Tutorials is doing a little bit of a sneak peek, this is it, of some products that might be coming in 2019. Now, I don't know, is it just me or, okay, I feel like I saw a, a Q and A with her like a while back in which she was asked if she's going to do a makeup line and she said no. I mean, I don't know, maybe she changed her mind, but these are the swatches that she's showing and I hope that these are not neutrals. These better not be neutrals because if they're neutrals, I'm gonna get upset. Well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna get upset, but I feel like part of me feels like Nikki Tutorials will be doing neutrals. I really hope she isn't. I really hope that she just like is a little bit of a game changer in that sense because I feel like so many like people whenever they collab, um, especially if they're like big beauty gurus, if you will they come out with like really neutral tones and I can only think of a handful of creators who have collabed with brands or who have launched things that are actually colorful. Honestly, whenever I'm doing these videos, I like think inside my head, does my opinion really matter? Because I act sometimes very entitled. I'm like, I like this, I don't like this, I want to see this. But it's like, does my opinion really matter? I don't think anyone really cares about my opinion. I feel like this this, this is a kind of video that's like mostly for entertainment, which is why I put it out. But you know, I just like, I like being sassy. I like being fun, you know what I mean? So this is um, a collaboration with something called Spectrum Collections. I've never heard of this brand. Don't know what it is, I'm so informed. And Disney. Now they're coming out with this brush set and I actually, 
do not hate it. Yeah, I do feel that there are things that they could have done to make this even better, but I feel like this is a good um, Disney nostalgia collection. I feel like they went in a good direction. Do I want to get this? No, I do not, but I do not hate it. So Eva Cosmetics is coming out with a spring, uh, spring 2000, well, summer, spring, summer 2019 collection. And here it is. They have a variety of lip glosses and an eyeshadow palette, all of which I will not be getting because I don't like anything. <laughs> I just, again, I feel like it's a little bit too basic. I feel like, I feel like it's just so neutral and I already have all those glosses probably, even though they look fantabulous. So it's going to be a pass. I will say that. I, I do not really need it. Okay, I feel like it's getting so dark outside and this video's lighting is not going terrible. This is wonderful. I don't know, I just feel like it's so boring. I know, I know, but like, I feel like it's a good neutral palette, but I'm just not really inspired by it. I don't know. I'm so nitpicky with everything. I really only tolerate things if they're super colorful and if they're super bright and interesting. And if they're not, I'm just not too like into it, honestly. Like it's just, it's just not my cup of tea to, to be fair, and I do not really need it. So MAC Cosmetics is coming out with this spring inspired collection, which is it right here. Uh, uh, they have some highlight powders and I feel like I heard a rumor or something that these are um, highlight powders with oversprays. I feel like a lot of people have been saying that and I do not really need that in my life. They have lipsticks, they have an eyeshadow palette, they have a lip gloss, and then they have uh, some fragrance fix plus, which none of which I need. I will say that I like I like the petals, I like the packaging, but I'm just not too interested. I feel like I just I, I feel like this is just not not it for me. And honestly, like what is with all these neutral palettes for spring launches? I mean, I don't I do not get it. I feel like if I want to see a neutral palette, I could pretty much go to any existing. Um, palette from any like uh, from any um company that sells eyeshadow palettes and I could just pick out a neutral palette and be on my merry way but I feel like when I want to see a spring palette I want to see something colorful and I'm not really seeing that especially from MAC so this is a no. I'm so sassy today I know I'm very sassy Okay, moving on, let's talk about some indie launches right here. Let me just pull this up on my computer. Finally, something that looks colorful. And uh, I think that this is like some sort of like, I feel like this is kind of like spring and summer themed or summer themed, but I love it. This is from um, Z Zircon Cosmetics. I did not really know how to pronounce it. It's Z I R. C O N, so Zircon Cosmetics. And they are going to basically be launching this La Mexicana palette. I'm gonna say La Mexicana because I feel like that's how you pronounce it. Honestly, this is the kind of palette that has a little bit of a summer theme that I really do find myself drawn to. This is the kind of like just like warm tone energy that I like. I feel like this is a palette that could produce a, a variety of neutral looks, but at its core, it is a colorful palette, which I love. You know, like I really like seeing like colorful palettes such as this. I mean, there, there are so many beautiful colors in it. It's out of the box, it's loud, it's vivid, and I like it. It's available now and it's available for $14. I've never heard of this brand or tried it, but I do like this launch. Then we have something else. They're launching some uh, singles from Davina and they're going to be these beautiful greens. Oh my gosh, I really do like them a lot. Honestly, I love every single one of these greens and I'm very sorely tempted by them. I just feel like these are so pretty. These are so beautiful. And I mean, I love, I love myself a good green and these are absolutely amazing. Davina Cosmetics was on my list of products or brands that I want to try in 2019 and I really, really want to try these especially. Like, I feel like these are some really pretty greens and who knows, I might get my hands on these. Honestly, so far indie brands are coming through for me, which is no surprise. Honestly, indie brands sometimes 
they're the best for me. So now this is from Ronnie Cosmetics, and this was this is a brand that's uh, created by Total Makeup Junkie 101 here on YouTube, and she has been teasing this um, launch from the brand I think for a little bit. If I'm if I'm wrong, tell me. But I feel like she's been teasing this launch already, and this is the full color reveal. I really do like some of these shades a lot. I'm not sure if I'll get this myself. It is available for $48 and it's going to be launching on the 16th. Has it already launched? I feel like, yes, it has. Um, but I don't know if I'll be getting this myself. Again, I've been on this like weird, I'm not really buying any makeup kind of train, but I like this palette a lot. I really do. I feel like it's pretty. I feel like it's colorful, but it has like some really interesting colors that are not like your cookie cutter colorful colors in there as well. And I've seen swatches and I really do like those swatches. So this is like on my list, but I'm not sure if I'll be getting this. We'll see. We'll see. So there's a new collection from Cleona. Cleona? Is that how you, is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Now this is called the Dream Weaver Collection and this is from Cleona Cosmetics and they're coming out with six existing eyeshadows from their collection within this and they also have uh, some seven brand some seven brand new eyeshadows that they're adding to the collection to form the dream weaver collection if you will so i personally am really drawn to a lot of these shades especially like the pinks and the reddish type shades i really like those a lot um, I don't know if I'll be getting these myself though. They seem to be like really, really pretty. I'm not sure. I mean, again, I really do want to try this brand. So I feel like I'm going to put this on my list, but we shall see. There is going to be a launch from OMFG Cosmetics. They're coming out with this palette right here. And I don't have pricing, but it's going to be launching on March 1st. And this one of two palettes. So I do like this color story. I don't love it. I feel like if I was like somebody who didn't have a lot of colorful shades, I would really like this palette. But as somebody who has now built a collection of colorful shadows that actually includes a lot of these tones, I feel like now this is not something for me. So that's why this is a pass because I already have a lot of these shades and this is not necessarily a color story that excites me anymore. So this is not something that I need, but it is, I feel, a good option if you are starting out your uh, colorful cosmetics like collection, if you will. I mean, I don't really know about the quality, but that's just my opinion whenever I look at the color story. So I really do have to stop filming now because I actually am running out of space on my uh, camera really quickly and it's getting quite dark. So hopefully you guys can forgive me for the abysmal lighting situation in this video, but I am trying to work through some things. I just have had, I just have been so busy and I really do want to like keep doing YouTube because honestly, Doing these videos makes me so incredibly happy and I have such a passion for it and it's essentially becoming such a glorified hobby that I'm obsessed with. So I know that you guys will feel the same if you have a YouTube channel and if you like it as much as I do. But it's just so much fun to do and I love working at this. So yes, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.